this is real life The only one we get to live I remember being broken, thinking something's gotta give This is real life, everything we do is legendary And we gon' do it till the day we in the cemetery Real life, it feel like I'm dreaming Used to feel like I was nothing, now my life has meaning Said this is real life God damn I got a vision, can I tell you something? When I told the world, when I say world, I mean the people that were in the world I was gonna be doing this one day, they told me I'm crazy Listen to me. When I tell people now I'm going to win a Nobel Peace Prize, you'd be shocked. They still don't believe it. I'm like, after all this stuff I said I was going to do, that I did, like, you can't, like, you can't believe that? Like, like you shouldn't have believed that I was going to get here in the first place. Now you got to believe everything else I say from this point forward. So they didn't believe I was going to be standing here, but you know what I love about success? That's the thing I love about success. It doesn't take 10 or 20 people to believe. It actually takes one person to believe it. Who's that person? That's not that's not the guy who's looking out at, you know, you have to look out the window. Okay, so write this one down because this is important. All right? Success does not require you to look out the window. It only requires that you look in the mirror. I want, if you're going to do business, if you're going to be successful, right? If you're going to make impact in the world, if you're going to celebrate life, you're going to have haters. Welcome to the real world. And so every hater you get, and the more intense they are, that is an indicator that you're on the road to success. Listen to me, broke people don't have haters. And if they do, it's like one or two of them. Get up in the morning and grind. The people who are not going to do what they're supposed to do, you just can't live off of folks no more. But the people who are ready to work, it's still money to be made. It's still money to be had. But the people who are ready to grind and tell and to shut, kill the noise, all the haters, you just laser focus. Ah, ah, ah. Where you gotta get that in. La, 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 la. Like you don't even hear them anymore. You just laser focus. So if you're ready, if you're ready, that the table has been set, guys. The table has been set. I only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Hey everybody, it's Anthony here. I'm here with Bruce Rochester. Now, this video here, we wanted to show you about the explosive lifestyle. So, one of our finest and one of our biggest leaders here in South Florida, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna interview Bruce today. Bruce, um, now let, let's let's leave this social alone for a little while. Let's go, let's get let's get a little more personal, all right? Um, I want to know about you. I'm sure the fans want to know more about you. What what were you before explosion? Before you became the South Florida rainmaker, who were you? Well, I was doing a telemarketing job for 10 years of my life, and. I loved my job. I was making decent money. I literally dropped out of high school my senior year. And I told my mom, my, my mom was get, trying to get me into going to college and getting my GED. And I never wanted to go back to school because what I wanted to go back to school for was to be computer engineer. And computer engineering took a lot more math. And I hated math. <laughs> so I wasn't going back to that. So I, I loved my job and then back in 2011, the company had to cut everyone's employees just so, actually all my employees and all the salaries so they wouldn't go out of business. I wasn't making near enough money to pay my bills and me and Nandy was always getting into, you know, Nandy's my fiance. We got into a lot of arguments about our financial hardship in the business. So I saw Explosion, a friend of mine named Sean showed me the opportunity. I looked into it and I thought it was actually too good to be true. But what really caught my eye is that I didn't have to go around selling people coffee or my shake better than your shake or, you know, this skin product. And the creams that cure ugliness. <laughs> All of, yeah, the, yeah, the creams that cure ugliness, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I said, you know what, I can get into this, save money, and also make money with this program. And the only thing I have to do is resell a membership. I was so excited, I got in immediately. Uh, I actually didn't get through with Sean, I got through with a friend of mine. Actually, he wasn't my friend, but he became one of my closest friends and now my business partner. His name is Joel Santiago. I literally found this guy on YouTube. I watched literally 30 videos until I ran into his video. I was at work, I called him immediately. I said, Joel, you don't have to sell me on the business. Please just let me know what can I do to get started. I got it started immediately, and I'm going to be real with you. Within my first month, I made no money because I didn't apply any of the steps. I didn't take the business seriously. I was just using some of my old habits into explosion. And I reached out to Joel and I said, Joel, man, this stuff is not working. Man. What can I do to get, get rolling? 
said, listen, Bruce, you need to follow my training and you start making money. I immediately started doing his training. Within the month of August, I made $661. The next month after that, I made $1,599. I was making more money than I made with Explode Tools than I made in my previous company in just a few months. And basically after that, I woke up a couple of mornings and I was like, you know what, babe, I don't think I'm going to work today. <laughs> and then she was like, well, what do you mean you're not going to work? I said, we're making $1,500 a month. They're paying me 10 bucks an hour. What I got to do with that job? So I stopped going to work. I took social full time. And within six months, I was making a full time income. And before we go a little further, you know, uh, Bruce went over some numbers. I want to put a little income disclaimer in there. Now, you know, just because Bruce, you know, he, he didn't excel as much in his first month, doesn't mean you will. The results that he got, you know, that, that's on him. You know, individual results may, may vary. How about, you know, I want you to give a heart to heart message to everybody out there that's watching this video right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to step out and we're going to put the camera all on you. Well, I'm really just a regular guy. I'm not no internet bureau. I'm not a, I don't even have a high school diploma. I don't have a college degree. I have no experience in none of this stuff. Um, when I, when the, my income dramatically dropped, <laughs> I was to the point where I had to make a serious decision within my life. Um, either go back to school, work more hours, or find something where it's just gonna just help me out with making more money. I'm so glad that exposure came to my life because for one, for one, for one moment I want to say this. I had to literally move back in with my parents because it was just that bad for me. And I went from living with my mom to living with my sister-in-law, my, my, my girlfriend's uh, parents, just so we could have enough money to stay up afloat. And with Explosure, I never expected to make an extra 10 grand a month. I literally got in just to make an extra 1500 just so it could cover my bills. So when we made that extra $1,600 a month, I literally thought I was financially free with $1,600 a month. But when that $1,600 went to $2,300, $2,600, uh, the month of February was uh, $3,600 and $4,500 and $7,811, 10441 I was like, oh my God, it's looking like we're selling drugs over here. And I'm, I'm telling people that the income is just growing bigger and bigger, and now I'm making over $11,000 a month. And this is all from just a program, a vehicle, that took me from $320 a week to now $11,400 a month. And I, I, I want to be thankful for having more time to spend with my little one who's getting impatient. You know, it's all because of her. I'm going to have more money to put her in private school. I'm going to have more money, more time, and the ability to do things not only with her, but also my, my love of my life. And spending more time with her as well. And this is what Exposure to have allowed me to do. She's mad right now because she wants her french fries. Bruce, do you mind if I ask like a little bit of a personal question? How old are you? Oh, I just turned 30 years old. You just turned 30. So the normal... Uh, Normal retirement rate, you know, is like around the age of 45, right? Or let's say 40. So <laughs> you just saved yourself about another another 15, 16 years retiring at the age of 30. So now we have a child, we have a fiance, and they have their life to do whatever it is that Bruce and Nanny want to do. So you see the power of explosion. You see, you see, um, you know what can happen, and within the year, and you know we have success stories growing from left and right from uh, Donald Caesar to Manuel Arts, to me, you know, to, to other leaders that are in this business. But um, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. We're gonna enjoy our food. She's hungry, I'm hungry, Nanny's hungry. Um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. Big things coming. Thank you. We're just gonna give up, wait for wait for wait for <laughs> I'm